Are you looking for a luxury home here in Lake Nona? Stay tuned, I've got the perfect home for you. Hey guys, it's your buddy Joe, and today I am in Lake Nona and I'm showcasing one of the first models being built by this builder. So this model is not fully furnished. We're still waiting for the, the furnishings to come. So I'm gonna showcase it before and after. So you'll be able to see when you have an open space, you cannot see how big it really is because the furniture really defines how big the space is. So this house, this is the model house in one of the newest communities here in Lake Nona, very close to the town center, everything, the highway especially is very close. So this house, as you see it, it is a two story. It has just under 4,100 square feet at 4,860. And this is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, two story. And you can see it already has this luxurious pool behind it. So if you want to see this home, please give me a call, Joe at 407-484-8458 or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell for instant notification. Like this video and comment below. I'd love to hear your comments. Hey guys, for now, enjoy the tour. Beautiful exterior elevation, as you can see, has that modern style with the sharp slanted roof line. This has the color popping with that dark blue with the white, black soffits, pavered driveway with your one car on the left, two car on the right. Modern column, this is your two story Front covered porch. You have that large transom window. Double eight foot French doors with the glass inserts. Love this orange to let this pop out. Let's check out this home. Beautiful two story foyer. Have the double chandelier hanging down. First thing you're gonna notice, you have this mid-tone wood flooring throughout this main area right away focal point is that staircase balcony two-story balcony hardwood staircase with the iron spindles let's go while i'm pointing the camera here let's go into this first door which is the first one car garage this is an oversized one car you can see there's a lot of room behind this box Additional space. Look at this. Three large transom windows in the front of this foyer. Whew, fantastic. Let me back up, give you a view from this side. So awesome. Then you have that double French door, very modern because this is the modern elevation. Beautiful office cabinets and the shelving, built-in shelving and cabinets right there. So this model is gonna be furnished soon, so I'm gonna do the before and afters. You have a double barn door. Love what they're doing with the white and the dark black to pop that space. Open concept family room right here. Look at the trim work in that tray ceiling. So that's gonna be thousands and thousands of dollars to do it after. And as you know, with the builders, that won't even be offered. 
So you have the quad sliders here. Does not seem to fully pock out. But we're gonna open that in a moment. Check it out. So over here, right between this open concept family room, you have your formal dining with those two windows. Upgraded gourmet kitchen. Before we get that kitchen, you have your bar nook area here. This has the upgraded cabinets. Again, this is a production builder, so everything comes at a cost. This is not one of those homes that comes price per square foot. Basically, base price, lot premium, and upgrades. This has the upgraded wine refrigerator or beverage refrigerator. All right, let's talk about this kitchen, guys. Again, this space, once this has furniture and everything, it's gonna be elegant galore. Large island that spans six people easily. Three beautiful pendant lights. All right, so what are we seeing here? What do we see right in the middle there? It's not that industrial faucet, it's that range. All right, so they don't have the, the industrial range in yet. They just have a standard tile, but look at this espresso maker, guys. Microwave and espresso maker on the wall because you're gonna have that industrial range right here. You already have the restaurant industrial hood. This is the real deal industrial right here. You can see that's what they have in the restaurants. So you have your cabinet chimney going out, okay? You can, because the cabinets go straight across, you have that piece on the top sticking up. That gives you vent out, uh, basically vents out everything. You have your high-end shaker style 42 inch cabinets with your modern crown molding. You have the undermount LED lights, black handles to pop all this out the high-end quartz cabinets. This is really cool. It's like they did large format tiles as a backsplash and they did it in this unique pattern, like a double vertical, double horizontal. Very, very, very cool. A lot of things to comment in here, including this industrial Sub-Zero style. KitchenAid, so that is a very expensive high-end ticket item right there. Typically $10,000 for those built-ins. Very luxurious when it comes to those. So we have the walk-in pantry. These have the wood shelves that some of you love. You love the wood shelves. Before I go and leave this kitchen, something that I didn't comment on. I'm going to come back here. Of course, you have the cast iron farmer sink. But what didn't I mention? So a lot of this, when you don't, when you build, you think about this, you have the perimeter cabinets being in white, and you have the island, that mocha, chocolate, and then you have the mid-tone brown wood floors. It really offsets that. And you have these gold pendant lights that really ties everything together. That's what the interior designers did for you guys. So that's why they pay big bucks for your model. This will be your half bath. You can see you have the upgraded pedestal, sink, black faucet. And you have the black trim work and paint. That little extra. And you have the gold fixture. Back here is your two car garage and your laundry room. This is an upgraded laundry room. You have the wet sink here, cabinets, and then you have like a level eight to 10 flooring here. Very nice, very nice. Drop zone, valet area. Huge oversized two car garage. All right, so when you have your exotics in here, you have this extra space here. That's oversized. It's basically enough to put a golf cart in this section. Fantastic. Again, you have no carpets on this first floor and mid-tone hardwood floors. Before I leave this amazing area, 
Let's open this up. So this is a quad slider. I'm gonna go out here first. That's a quad slider. Oversized covered lanai. You can see it expands out over here. You have high-end tumbled marble. This is tumbled marble. I know this because I'm building a pool right now. This is tumbled marble in a French pattern. You've got the white drain right here. And then look at this luxury resort style pool backyard. Man, today is a perfect day to be in here too because it is hot and I'm wearing a jacket. Wow. All right, guys. So you have your jacuzzi, spa, elevated a foot over. You've got your sun deck. And then you've got that little cabana over there for your fire pit. Yeah, all right. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, so what makes this feel very luxurious is that you have your shrubberies, you have the greenery, you have the palm trees, the king palms. Man, super luxurious. Let's open this up. So I didn't want to keep this open the whole time, but you have your quad sliders. Thick sliders. So if you have any road noise, that's going to cut the road noise out. So you can hear there's road noise there. Once I close this, you'll hear it go still have a huge three wide so these are about five feet wide each of these so this is a 20 foot wide opening 15 foot opening and then you have that five foot slider hear that you don't hear anything that's how industrial those doors are very thick thing that you're going to notice you have your wire pass-throughs and you're hooked up for your entertainment wall mount TV I'm gonna hide that side right there all right so his and hers closet but let's check out this master fully separated guys three large windows in the back you have the designer wood beams in the tray ceiling you have the trim wall here so it is in that, sh that pattern give you that extra elegance. So it looks very simple, but this is really hard to do. This trim work, man, you really need to have that craftsman take care of this. That's a lot of work. That's why these models cost so much because of all these little details that cost a lot of money. It's a very large oversized master check that out so i guess i should have done the closets while i was walking in but you got it you have the walk-in closet on this side and the very very large this one is for whoever has the most clothes his or her then let's check this out man this is beautiful you have this large soaking, freestanding soaking tub in the center. Water closet on the left. Double vanity. You have vanity on the left and the right. And then you have your mirror vanity for the stool right there, makeup vanity. Gorgeous. And the quartz. Same full overlay shaker style with the black handles. You have that theme going throughout with the black faucet on that tub. Large oversized, same thing over here. Frameless shower. This is a deep shower right here. So you have this beautiful, beautiful tiled wall here. So that is marble. And it has the pattern, it's just stunning. Have the outline on these shower and soap niche you have the vertical tiles going here in a 70 30 pattern you have a double shower here 
one on that side, and one on that side. And then check this out. Boom, rain head shower right in the middle. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. So one thing before I leave here, because these things are so heavy, typically it's two pieces. Because it's very hard to get one piece. So this is this top piece right here and the bottom piece are two pieces. Eight foot doors down here as well. I don't know. What do you think about that? I think I would rather put a large range hood, like a canopy hood, so that those cabinets will break up that straight pattern on the cabinets. Again, we're gonna go up the stairs. Stairs are very expensive, guys. Hardwood, these are oak treads, so you can see the wood grain. And white risers. You have your modern five and a quarter inch baseboards on that top this is your two-story foyer all right let's turn around so this is your open loft area see so you have your cable on the right large window double windows in the back this has the recessed lights I should turn them on but I didn't Full bath for this area here. Upgraded galore. And then mosaic towel in the shower. You have 12 by 24, 70 30 pattern. Shaker style cabinets, white cabinets, gold light fixture. Love it. I love how they two tone this. They have the center here with the glass mosaic tiles with that pattern. It's a pattern. Look at these patterns. Then you have the linen concrete 12 by 24s. You have the black shower head and handle. And you have the trim, black trimmed shampoo and shower, uh, shampoo and soap niche. Eight foot, eight foot doors here, guys. This room is awesome. You have three transom windows in the front. That window on the right. Walk-in closet. Gotta love these wood shelves. Gotta love these wood shelves. You have the modern black with the handles as well. A couple things you're gonna notice are these floor outlets. If you wanna put lamps over here. Two more bedrooms and then this enclosed media room. So you can do a lot in here. I can't wait to see how this comes out. Three large windows in the back, two win large windows on the side. Got a total of seven recessed lights in here. Again, I should open up the lights. This has the luxury carpet, the trim on the walls, Wayne's coating on the walls. There you go, lights. We like lights. All right, so this is one of the bedrooms over here. One of three, standard closet. Again, this room's gonna look small, 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 but once we have the uh, furniture in here, you're gonna see that when you see an empty home, once you put furniture, it will define the space. It will look larger. So same thing throughout with the cabinets with the dark handles this is a very cool tile floor pattern again with the gold white fixtures quartz black handles this tile is very cool I like these tile floors multi colors hexagon this has a large format herringbone 
on that back wall. This is really nice. I love how they're doing this. The back wall has a different pattern or tile compared to the side walls. This is the same tiles, but this is on a straight, straight pattern. Then you get that high-end black shower head handle and faucet. Same thing. There is a name for that trim. If you guys know the name, put it down in the comments because I keep forgetting it. Everybody tells me I'm going to have to look it up. Shampoo and soap niche. So this is the Jack and Jill. This is the second side. Again, same cabinets. You have the open door and you just close this door behind me. This is the last and final room. It's a very unique shape. I like it, dimension is good. It has this swing out window in the front, of the home. Against this has the French tile roof, you can see. It's a flat tile roof. Very nice, very nice. Let me go at a different angle here. The lights are always good, the lights are always good. So let's do it from this end. Very cool, can't wait to see this design. Have a walk in closet with the under swings. Perfect. Hey guys, what do you think about this tour? So, as you see, this home is gorgeous. It does not have the furniture yet, so I'm going to film a before and after so you can see the space differences with the furniture in it. So, this will be the model for the small community here in Lake Nona, a luxury builder. So, this is going to give you, as you all know, there's not many luxury homes that are in new construction, and this is your opportunity. Very small under 20 lots in this community. So this house, as you see it, it's under 4,100 square feet at 4020. It has four bedrooms, three and a half baths, two story, three car garage. So if you want to see this, please give me a call, Joe at 407-484-8458, or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell for instant notifications. Like this video and comment below. Hey guys, I truly appreciate you guys for joining me on this tour. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you around the neighborhood.